Hello everyone and welcome to Ruination Range. My favorite holiday, Halloween, is right around the corner. And as you can see, I don't even have my pumpkins carved yet. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. And since this is a gun range, we're going to be doing it the fun way. If you're a fan of firearms, chances are good you've already carved a pumpkin like this before. Or you've at least seen a video of somebody doing it. Which is why for this video, I'm going to try and make it a little bit more exciting. I've got five firearms down here, all different calibers and I've got several different pumpkins. So, we're gonna see which one makes the best jack-o'-lantern. For this caliber comparison video, I brought down five different firearms. I have a nine millimeter handgun, and then for rifles, I have a 22, a 5.56, a 7.62 by 39, and finally a 308. So I'm gonna start out with a nine millimeter because I think it's gonna be the worst one out of all of them. Since it's a handgun, I'm shooting offhand, I'm not gonna be back on the bench. So, without further ado, let's do it. Starting out with the 9mm, I'm hoping I can get this accomplished in one magazine, 17 rounds. I'm thinking three for each eye, three for the nose, and then the last eight for the mouth. So, we'll see if it happens. Already off to a bad start. All right, I'll move on to the next die. Okay, that eye's pretty good. Go for a nose now. Ooh, he's got a disformed face. Okay, now onto the mouth. Way low. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm about out here. Oh, I am out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and reload. I think I have eight or so in this magazine. We'll see. Kind of resembles a mouth. Keep going. And that's it. All right, nine millimeter jack-o'-lantern ain't too pretty. We'll go ahead and move on to the 22, see if we can be a little bit more accurate. Not sure how many bullets this will take. I have two seven round magazines, so I'll probably have to stop to reload. Let's go ahead and try it. Start with the eyes again. This will probably turn out to be a better pumpkin, a better jack-o'-lantern. All right, move on to another eye. Oh, there we go first. There we go. Those are all going into one hole. Move around a little bit. Oh. That jam. There we go. Might have been the last one. Yep. All right. Go ahead and reload. Both magazines are reloaded. I'm going to put a couple more in the top right eye, I think. That's looking better. I'm going to fix the left eye. All right, we'll go for the nose now. Reload. Bad feed. Back to the nose. All right, reload again. I think I'll go check it out. 
reloaded once again and I went down there to look at it. The eyes are both looking pretty good. I'm going to put a couple more through the nose. I think it could be a little bit bigger. Alright, I can see through it there. We'll go ahead and work on the mouth now. 22 is looking pretty good so far. Ooh. Reload. I have to reload the magazines. Reloaded, here we go. <laughs> Hit a target on that one. All right, I'm going to reload them all one more time, and then I think we'll call it quits for the 22. Both are reloaded, so this will be the last 14 rounds, and then we'll go have a look. All right, I'm gonna call it quits. Let's go look at that jack-o'-lantern. That resembles a face. Not perfect, but that resembles a face. Compared to nine millimeter, that didn't look too hot. That's pretty good. Take a look at the back. Also kind of resembles a face. A little bit more spooky, zombie face right there. The nine millimeter pumpkin didn't look too good. 22 looked really good, but it took over 50 shots. Who's got time for that? The 5.56, I'm hoping we can make it in 30 rounds or less. Here we go. And we've got a problem. I knocked, I knocked the pumpkin off. Go reset that real quick. Pumpkin's reset, so we'll try it again. Starting with the eye. Okay, it's a little bit lower than I'd like. Go ahead and move to the other eye. Okay, this is uh, shaping up to be about the worst one yet, I think. Put another one in that eye. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let me see if I can correct the right eye. Go to the nose now. All right, not a whole lot of room for the mouth underneath, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, this is looking terrible. About knocked him off. Okay, I think I'm just going to call it quits with the 5.56. It's not looking too well. It's definitely knocking more out than the 22. so if I were shooting correctly, if I were aiming properly, you know, might be able to get it done in a lot less than 50, probably less than 30. Let's go ahead and move on to the AK with 7.62 by 39. Now we have the AK with a 30 caliber round. Bigger hole for each shot. Let's see how many we can do it in. Maybe... Three per eye, three per nose, and nine or so around the mouth. That's my prediction. Probably won't happen. Alrighty. One dead center for the nose. I <laughs> keep going down. Go for an eye.
All right, there's our left eye. Let's go for the right eye. All right. Not too bad. More shots than I would have liked. Let's go for the mouth now. Nice big splash out of the back of his head. And I knocked him over. Go reset him real quick. Okay, not sure how many shots I have left. It's probably not going to be enough. Let's see if we can finish his mouth. Oh, what do I do to fix him? <laughs> and I knocked him over again. So unfortunately, when he fell on that last shot, it kind of blew out his jaw. So once again, we got zombie jack-o'-lantern jaw hanging off. And I think we might have a new worst jack-o'-lantern. Let's do a quick comparison. Nine millimeter, not pretty. 22 looking good. 223, not pretty either. But I think this one is the worst. Well, I think I have a clear winner on which one's the best, 22. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one home with me and put a candle in it, set it out on the porch, and uh, I guess I'll just have to dispose of these other three. I think I can handle that. Well, bye-bye pumpkins. All right, everybody, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please consider subscribing for future content just like this, out here blowing stuff up and shooting things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.